Hi, my name is Alex Pluto and this is Package Money. I always wanted to try running Go programs on Raspberry Pi because it allows you to write some interesting programs and run it on a small device. I got my Raspberry Pi device and I will do a few videos how to write Go programs, how to build them so they will work on Raspberry Pi. I think it's better to do some videos about this because we will cover different things. We will write and build Go programs there. We will use machine box and then later we will use a Google Speech API. Sounds cool? Let's start. In this video, we will write a Go program to capture image from web camera on device and send it to machine box to detect face and tell us the name. My Raspberry Pi is already connected to Wi-Fi and has SSH interface. Also, I have web camera connected by USB to device. In previous video, I was capturing image from device using OpenCV library. But I found that it's complicated to install OpenCV on Raspberry Pi, so I found a package blackjack slash webcam which allows you to capture image using v4l2 Linux framework. It makes our life easier because now we don't need to install anything on our device as v4l2 is already there. First of all, let's get uh, blackjack webcam go package. And it works on only on Linux, so we need to set goarc environment variable and go OS. So later we can compile it for our architecture. So we set it like go arc in this RM and go as yeah, Linux go get github.com slash blackjack slash webcam. Cool. And now let's create main.go file. and import this package. So it's black check. Okay. And first of all, we will initialize webcam object. And the path will be dev video 0. And if error is not new, we will simply exit with some message like enable to open webcam error. And also we need to close. Now we need to set the format of our image. And to do it, we will use a function get supported formats of our cam object. And we will loop through this list and then uh, check a motion JPEG format and set it by code. So we will do it like code format strange camera get supported formats. And uh, the only one way we can check this motion JPEG is by checking the format string. So now it's motion JPEG. And we will set the format by set image format code. And then uh, it's width and height. So my camera is 720p, so I think 1280, 720, you good. Cool. And now let's start streaming. So come, start streaming, and it will return us an error. And if anything happens, unable to start streaming. Now we will start infinite loop and uh, read the frames from camera. There is a function cam wait for frame, which will set the a timeout, and uh, the value is 
nanoseconds. So let's just set the half of a second. So it will be like this. And now let's read the frame. Read frame. It will return us frame and also error. And in case error happened, we will just say enable to read frame error. And I think it shouldn't be fatal here. Let's just print F and continue. Maybe next time it will be better. So frame is a slice of bytes. So let's just check if the slice is not empty. Right, frame is new var. I forgot it here. Let's just print something. Look, print. It means that we can read something from frame. All right, now it's time to build our program, then send it to device and try to run it. So to build it, we also need to set this environment variables and uh, simply just go build and uh, let's name it capture. All right, there are some errors. My ID didn't show me 14. All right, of course. <laughs> I'm close. Um, yeah, I think that's enough. Cool, now we have our binary file. Now let's send the capture binary file to our device. And for this, we will use rsync command line tool. So rsync capture file. And here I need to put the IP address of my server and actually the username. Yeah, and just save it to the home folder. It asks for the password. Cool, now we have our binary file there. Let's just SSH there and check and try to run it. And password again. Cool, let's Right, we have this file, let's try to run it. Right, I can see, okay, okay, and also I can see my webcam has an indicator that it works. So I just close this and camera is shut down. In previous video, I was showing how to run Facebook container using Docker. And actually I was planning to do the same today, but Unfortunately, it's not possible to run Facebox on ARM architecture. But that's fine, as anyway, it's better to run machine box on a server with a faster CPU. So our Raspberry Pi device will work as a client and uh, use the machine box API. Right, let's switch back to our working environment. Now we can uh, capture the frames from web camera. And I have machine box running on my server, let's say it's a server, and uh, we have Facebook. So let's try to use Facebook Go SDK to send our frame to API and try to detect the face. Uh, first of all, I want to check if my Facebook is accessible from device. So what I can do, I can just simply my device is 216, uh, the port is 8080, and as you remember, it's just info endpoint. Cool, it's ready. Nice. Let's go back to working environment and uh, go get Facebook SDK. We did it in previous video, I will do the same right now. So it's go get. Machine box, SDK go, Facebook. All right, and let's import this package here and initialize our Facebook client. Is Facebook new and address? Eighty-eight. 
cool. I also found that uh, uh, frame slice doesn't have the Hartman table information, so it makes it not valid JPEG. So what we will need to do, we will need to add them manually. And uh, actually, as you can see, I already have dht.go file. It's very simple function to add this uh, dht information. So I will just use this function add motion dht to modify our frame slice. I will do it here. Frame add motion dht frame. So it will add some bytes there. And now we, we are able to send this frame slice to machine box. As you remember, we use the function f box check and we need to send the IO reader. So we need to use bytes package and new reader from slice from frame. It will return us list of faces and error. And if error is not new, let's just print it. Unable to detect faces. Error. And also continue. We don't want to stop anything. And instead of printing just a key, let's iterate through the spaces and print what we found. So you just use the same. Let's print face and confidence. So dot name f dot confidence and it's print f. All right, now let's build this program again and uh, send it to device. So this one command and. Sync it to the client and let's switch to our client and and run it again. Yeah, sometimes Raspberry Pi has this error that device is busy. I couldn't find how to solve it. I was just killing the process um, which is working on this uh, resource. But also, just running a few times uh, solves this problem. As you can see, now it works. All right, now my camera is enabled. And as you can see, it just says my name because uh, Facebook is already uh, trained. I think in a previous video, so it can recognize my face. Cool, now we can capture faces from our web camera on device and detect them. And in next video, I will add an integration of Google Speech API so our device can say something if face recognized or if not. I hope it was interesting and useful, so see you later.